TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are not live, but you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK, man. Right behind me, you see it. A little warning screen. I don't think we'll need it, but, you know, just in case. Don't forget, man, if we do go live, just go to twitch.com. I put in that username at the bottom of the screen. That's where you can catch it. Uh, we also got a Patreon. That's where we post stuff that we can't post on YouTube. Just reaction to all your best shows that you ever have out there. Trust me, it's worth it. But if you can't, I understand. It is what it is. This is The Sun, inside drug-ravaged zombie town, where crumbling homes cause little as 5,000 pounds. That's a tough title. Talk to me. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. True. Oh, there's all sorts. There's heroin, there's crack, there's whiz, blues, there's yellows, and all, all sorts. Everything Former security about, work. Everything. Where is I this? I think the presence on the volume. Uh, uh, all I want to read of is the druggies. Oh, this is this, this is lords and lords, lords. We had one sitting on our doorstep at one two o'clock in the morning, and he was just off his head. He was shouting and screaming. H Horden, the coastal village of Horden entered a death spiral of decline that hasn't halted since the uh, colliery closed. Coilery closed in 1987, throwing 4,000 men. On the dole, dang. It's always the coastal towns. It's a place plagued by drug use and where even the wrecked and boarded up houses aren't safe from burglary. Uh uh, they're coming in to still take the piping. Desperate drug users break in to steal any copper pipes and cables left behind to sell as scrap metal in hope of raising enough cash for the next fix. Told you. Statistically, it is one of the most dangerous places in the county, Durham, with 178.9 crimes per 1,000 people and 6,807 6 crimes committed in 2023. Frenchy. Oh my days. Property in Horton is among the cheapest in the country. Houses occasionally change hands here for as little as five thousand pounds. I need to go to I need to go to Horton and get some property. Is it anything like Japan where you could just go and just buy land or buy properties and Because it's the area? Do I have to live there? It's the area, you know. I mean you they can't give them away around here. Yeah, they can't give them away. They, they need to do something with these these areas and clean them up like i mean what do they do with the money they already get from us i mean if you think about the billions of pounds they make every year yeah just on road tax alone yeah and what gets done with the roads look at the state of them uh -huh. look at them you think you think your county don't owe another a bigger county some money they are probably working from behind so, so it's, uh, this is this is a road this is a street. Yeah, turn left on whatever street. This this is that kind of street where like traffic. What is this? What we pay for? Yeah. They just don't care about us, man. They don't. A journey around the street quickly confirms less Lee's or whatever his name take on home and village. Yeah, this is pretty bad. Rows of terrace houses, which were once the homes of miners and their families, have now fallen into dis disrepair. They really tested my reading skills today. The local authority has attempted to cheer up the depressing vista by past pasting posters of brightly colored doors over the... 
that is a slap in the face. It's actually doing the opposite. You think that slapping uh, uh, posters of brightly colored doors is making it better? That's a slap in the face. That's literally like, oh man, all y'all can afford to do is pretend that there's nice doors on these places like that, dude. Do you just stop? <laughs> that's that's ignorant. That's ignorant. At first glance, these tried slightly more careful, but fooling no one. Okay, here we go. I don't gotta read no more. What the hell is? Okay, I guess that's that's cool though. That's cool. This is there. That's cool. We never got no job. No. Like here, I asked years ago if there was any funding for a shop front, and this is all. No other money's gone, so they wouldn't even pay for a sign outside the door. I think round here, as as hard as it sounds, you've got to do what you can for yourself. Nobody helps you in the way. If they do help you in the way, it's a bonus. Yeah. And that's the way I teach the young ones now. I'll just say, look, eh, there's nobody out there to help you. Well, he is. There's plenty of people there to help you. Well, a lot of people like to criticize as well. So you just get your head down and do what you to. In the center of Horton stands Mara, a nine foot sculpture of a miner which his heart ripped from his chest. Oh, what? oh, wow. That's pretty deep. It couldn't be more fitting reflection of a community which has suffered the same fate. Artist raises. Portland Parish Council costs 19,000 pounds to illustrate the demise of Durham mining communities. Well, same, you've got Asian. Yeah. You've got Hey at Horton. You've got Blackhall. You've got Horton. All these coastal areas. Yeah. But all the ones gets left behind and just, we just dump the shit here. The village has seen an influx of people coming from large cities who have found affordable homes. One of them in the world is getting used to her new life. Miller is originally from Poland and had been living in the London borough of Ealing with her nine-year-old daughter as a private tenant. It's probably expensive over there too. After her landlord decided to sell the house, things took an unwelcome turn. So Northern Seaside Village she'd never heard of. Because I have to alter the social service uh, help us, yeah, but they have just helped out of the London, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and actually we don't have choice. They found on the five days this place and five days and we must is that another poster curtains too? So within five days you were just yeah, just five days, five wow. everything, and yeah. And it's a big, it's a big upheaval, isn't it? Yeah, it's really so big. Yeah. Did you, did you did you have like friends and things down there that you? Uh, yeah. That you yeah, just... I, I, yeah. But my my daughter have more friends and changed the school. You're yeah. Making, you're making... I could have swore we just watched like a little video on Horton before. I don't feel like it looked that much. It did look terrible before, but like now it looked terrible. Like this is this is a little bit extra on it. You feel yeah, me? yeah, yeah. I'm okay with this. I still doesn't find here friends, but I'm okay with this. Yeah, you will. Yeah, yeah. People of all ages, really. You know. Not, not a place to go during, like, wander around at night. Any time, no, even during the day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah exactly. Dangerous, even during the day, walking around here. If anybody thinks you've got money. You do get, kids will be kids, won't they? I mean, I've had a couple of broken windows and things vandalised. Yeah. But I think the main part of it as well is that they've got nowhere to go and they've got nothing to do. You know, there's no football recreation or there's nothing at all, really. And if they did have to do it, they would have to travel. 
I mean, my kids, they did a lot of gymnastics for Great Britain squads and things like that, but it, it was two trips a day to Durham. People around here haven't got the money to jump in a car and take the kids and, you know, they're not as well as off as what other people are. So even though the kids might love dancing, gymnastics, football or whatever, they've got to travel to do that. So you've seen, you've seen, you've seen a bit of change here? Oh yeah, I because when I left in late 80s, uh, obviously the pit. I know this is like, the cat, this cat, he just continues to want to be the focal point of the video. I'll go put him away. <laughs> Making a lot of noise, ain't he? It's where you start to close down and things like that. Well, basically, I think it is just getting jobs back into the area. And there is funding in the area for local councils, but it seems to go elsewhere. I mean, when I bought this place, it was, it was totally derelict. This wasn't open. So I only wanted this bit, really. But the shops around the front, there was only one shop, basically. Yeah. I've opened to some bed shops. I've opened the hairdressing shop. The dance studio upstairs, I've done so. It's getting the community back. He's trying. He's a one-man band, he's trying. Back into somewhere where they couldn't go before. Youth clubs have gone, all that. So now, we. Just in this street alone, in my premises, I've got, it's like a one-stop shop, you know, you, you go and get fed in one shop, you go in the next and get all your beauty treatments, and you go and get your hair done, yeah, and so you go upstairs. All, you've got all those places, yeah. Yeah, so like round the other side, we've got like a tanning studio, there's uh, aesthetics place. Yeah. Um, the hairdressers, and upstairs. I'd At first, I didn't understand what was the big deal with everybody in the UK going to get tans and things, but like, it's barely any sunshine there. I understand now. Danielle's School of Dance. Always over. She gets quite a lot of kids in on a, on a weekend, on a night. Mm -hmm. Teaches them how to sing, dance, performing arts. Yeah. So it's basically getting it back up and running, but That's... I'm going only as short as 10 years ago. Yeah. 10 years ago, there was nothing at all. Like, nothing for nobody. There's no work around here. Listen up. No work around here. But do you work yourself? Or? I don't know. What What did you do most recently? Um, well, the last job I, I, I did with security, I did that for 30 odd years. Yeah. Now I can't. Yeah. But if you were, if, if you were a bit a fit, a fit to work, there wouldn't be a great deal. Enough of it. There'd be nothing. Yeah. I'd have to, I'd have to, I'd have to go elsewhere to look for work. I wouldn't find any around here. Well, I haven't lived here that long, not in Horton, but uh, I'm a Wingate lad myself. I'm from Wingate. Wingate. Yeah. yeah. That's that's not that much better neither. <laughs> no, I was going to say, it's, it's got its own problems, doesn't it? Yeah. Very informal. Horton looked like the most terrible parts of the West Side. That's crazy. West Side, that was bad. I ain't even, didn't even got the nerves to put one little statue. I get the statue and the relevance of it, but like, that's tough. I'm gone.